Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about this new Chainsaw Man anime game that should be coming up very soon on Roblox. Now, the anime Chainsaw Man is very, very good. So if you guys haven't watched it, you guys should definitely check it out. And so far, this game looks pretty solid to me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And guys, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers once again. So now let's try to hit the next milestone for this channel, which will be 6,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit that as fast as possible. And yeah, enjoy the video. Alright, so first we're actually going to be talking about some information that the Discord server of this game actually gives us. And if you guys actually want to join their Discord server, it's going to be in the link in the description so all of you guys can join it. So pretty much it's this. Project Chainsaw is an upcoming game in development on Roblox platform based off of the Chainsaw manga analyzed by these three developers. And with also great support from the development team and the management team putting effort into both the game and the server to realize the dream of realizing this game as fast with the most secure way possible for all the future users and players. So as you guys know, this game is going to be based off of the anime and slash manga. Before starting to explore and chat with other users in the server, remember this. So pretty much they just established some rules for the server and they gave us some information about the game. Now, what this game is about, it's about the Chainsaw anime when it's going to be released the development team is trying to aim as latest as november of 2022 so yes this game could be coming out for this year now most likely when developers say november 2022 i'm i'm pretty much doubting it i feel like they might release this game around december of 2022 because i know when developers say one thing they always need to add some like finalized stuff at the end so then this game should be coming out towards the end of november or the beginning of december which is going to be super super hype now like i said this game should be coming out this year so it looks like they already have a good amount of progress already done they also already have their guis look so super super clean already as you guys see it has like a red radiant with a mix of yellow and orange with the chainsaw man icon right there and with the wording right there they also have like the if you guys know what chainsaw has like spikes on it they also have it tracing around like the whole text which looks super super cool some small detail right there and yeah you know what i'm saying they already have their loading GUI screen, which looks clean already. So honestly, I'm already hyped for this game. They already have a decent amount of progress done. And later on in this video, or probably just right now, we're actually going to be just discussing almost all the sneak peeks that the game has to offer. All right, so now we're going to be discussing some of the buildings that this game is going to have. So the first one is definitely going to be the city part one. Now, as you guys see, the scenery looks absolutely beautiful. Now, one thing I would say to change is maybe the grass, because there is better grass that you can be using for games like this. But definitely, you know what I'm saying? It still looks good. And I'm, one thing I'm actually looking forward for this map is that if it's going to be anime accurate or they're probably going to make their own little twist with it i know a lot of roblox anime games they try to do that because they don't want to make the map too big but at the same time they want to make it big enough that people can explore see new places and just looks beautiful overall we also have city part two we also get a different angle of the buildings you have the buildings right there the apartments everything looks pretty solid to me right now i'm not gonna lie it looks mostly anime accurate then we have the beach side which definitely looks like you know what i'm saying it looks like a beach side of course um we don't really get a good picture i think this one has a better pose we can see the water now i hope the water does look much better in game because right now it doesn't look that solid but i can't even lie with you the beach size like the way everything is set up looks absolutely perfect and i'm ro definitely rocking with the sky the sky effect they have the realistic clouds which i'm definitely rocking with and then next we actually have is definitely i think this is inside a building yeah this is just inside a building looks pretty clean right here you know what i'm saying we got the couches we got the tables we got the chairs everything looks pretty cool now one thing i do want people to notice is the shadows now this is very accurate you guys can see the drop shadow effect with the tables and the couches which i'm definitely rocking with 100 percent we also have the wilderness which pretty much is the outside as you guys see the trees everything looks pretty solid to me right now now so far this game looks pretty good to me now i feel like for me personally when i want to play a new robux anime game the first thing i only care about is the pvp of course building stuff like this these are like minor like things that like matter when you like make a game but i feel like me as the player the only thing i really care about is the fighting now as you guys see the scenery for this game looks absolutely amazing so i honestly can't wait we also have the graveyard at the end which looks pretty clean right there you know what i'm saying we got the dead bodies of course you know what i'm saying it's a graveyard but yeah next we're actually moving on to the other sneak peeks that this game has to offer okay so also with this game they also did release some models and some of the clothing that is going to be added to this game so the first one we're going to be talking about is going to be the bat devil itself as you guys see this is what it's going to look like we also have a little bit of zombie clothing right here so i think it looks pretty solid to me right now you know what i'm saying 
the bat devil zombie devil minions so pretty much that's what those screenshots are about now the bad devil i'm not gonna lie boys looking kind of jacked with the six pack so now we also have other stuff coming out in this game which is gonna be the tuxedos so pretty much as you guys see from the outfits they come without boobs and with boobs if you're a female or if you're not of course you know what i'm saying they're trying to get the details right which i respect we also have the giant hammer which is the red hammer right there everything looks super clean so far we also have the katana man we have the tomato devil we have the leash devil and they're probably going to be adding a lot of more other npcs such bosses in this game in the future but so far this is everything that's on the sneak peek channel now one thing that i'm liking so far is the fact how most of this stuff is really anime accurate and they're also trying to add their little own details to it too which makes it already better now definitely i'm definitely rocking with the models the leech devil i don't know what i'm saying of course they're all gonna look weird but at the same time they look weird in the anime regardless so to try to get these details right it's definitely hard but i could see that the developers took their time trying to make it look really really good and you can also see for the clothing how they have really taken their time on it trying to get the little details down and just trying their best to make it look super clean so now we're going to be moving on to the other set of sneak peeks now for the next set of sneak peeks i'm not going to go too much in depth since you guys can just see from the videos but pretty much we have beam the shark for the chainsaw game that's the model and this is pretty much the animation as you guys are seeing from the clip we also have another kind of angle to it too which looks super clean so far and then we also have the blood hammer now the blood hammer as you guys see from the clip is looking really really clean they're really trying their best make it look really anime accurate and i am definitely with it you know what i'm saying at the, at the same time i'm definitely liking the animation with the hammer you know what i'm saying it's a hammer of course it's gonna take you a lot of force to try to you know what i'm saying use it so they're actually trying to get that little animation down to make it look way more realistic and they're also doing it with r15 and the same logic can be applied to the blood spears so so far everything about this game is looking super clean of course i didn't really discuss about too many sneak peeks but they're not really trying to release everything on the discord channel as you guys see but i'm not gonna lie so far this game is looking pretty promising and i honestly can't wait for it to come out one thing that i'm definitely going to be looking forward to is going to be the chainsaw kind of like hybrid form if you guys know what that looks like i'll show up a screenshot right here if you guys watch the anime or slash manga you definitely know what i'm talking about and i honestly cannot wait to see the way how they're going to portray that form and pretty much the moveset it's going to have so honestly i can't wait for this game to come out so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new i know it's kind of like a short video for tonight but i just want to kind of address this game and give it the attention that it deserves so yeah see you guys